I had five days of food. It's like, if I go one more day, I'm committed to this journey. And I wasn't sure if it went through or not. So, my name's Steven Scarcello. I'm a landscape photographer from Sandpoint, Idaho. Let's try this again. Up this way. Oh, we go. Let's go record. I'm just gonna switch this back to topo. Bingo. So we're gonna take a venture down into the woods to an unnamed waterfall on an unnamed creek that I've explored a few times and it's really gorgeous. Um, it's about a mile or so. Um, there's no trails. Okay. Have to do an adventure like this. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we have to cross the creek, a couple sketchy log crossings and lots of bushwhacking. I'm also just excited to see what the yeah. Well, it's springtime, so it should be pretty big, right? It should be pretty slower than this. I'm guessing it's going to be a little bit lower than the last time I've seen it. But we have had a little bit of rain, so that helps. Yeah. That's pretty insane. Yeah, it's nuts. That is crazy. You'd never expect it to be here. Not at all. That's, that's okay. That's acceptable. Quite a bit of flow. Yeah. Later in the summer, this thing's just a trickle. It's gnarly to get out here in the winter. I have to wait for that next cloud to come in before I try that stuff, but it'll probably take me like 15 minutes to even get my tripod there. So yeah. I'll start framing it up. I've been doing photography for about 12 years. Dabbled a little bit with film here and there, um, mainly stills though wildlife, landscape, that kind of thing. So I've dabbled a lot with video. That's actually kind of my day job, is filming video for a YouTube channel. Um, but stills is kind of where my passion is. I really like trying to showcase the landscape in a way that shows the scale and you know capture things in a unique way. So I actually have a lot of inspirations that got me into landscape photography. Chris Burkard being one of them, he did a lot of like surfing, exploration-based photography, and I thought that was really cool. Um, him, Mark Adamus, and then also having some friends who are also into this. Um, yeah, I just remember picking up a camera, learning how to use it, and having a good time going out with friends, taking pictures of whatever we could find. And over time, that slowly got more and more refined into what I do now. Yeah. So I shoot with a Sony a7R4. It's been a fantastic camera for me. I've had it for about a year and just absolutely love it. I switched to mirrorless cameras pretty early on with Sony. It's lived a life, right? It's definitely lived a life. Yeah. I've only had it for a year and it's been through hell. Oh, what's your favorite lens? Probably this one. This is the 12 to 24. And I really like how wide it is because I'm able to get a perspective that you can't really get with just your eyes. A lot of times I'll do scouting missions where I'll pack a lighter bag just with some snacks and water and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Make sure it's a place that I actually want to take photos at before I lug a really heavy backpack out. Yeah. Um, yeah. That said, I'm gonna get my shot. Yeah, I, I'm often in mildly treacherous terrain. Um, people always ask me where I'm taking photos, but I don't always like to share that information because for one, it might be kind of treacherous for somebody without the experience. That's crazy. To go to some of these places, um, a lot of places I go are rope access to. So I'll rappel into canyons and this enables me to get to places that not a lot of other people are taking pictures of. I really wanted to get under these logs. So even with the rope access, you'll bring your camera sometimes? Mm -hmm. Yep. 
Ooh. I, even down waterfalls, I'll, I have a dry bag, so I'll put all my gear as safely as I can in a dry bag and then right down the waterfalls and get into some really cool canyons that way that not a lot of people, maybe no one, has ever photographed. So I was born in Spokane, Washington. Um, lived most of my life in northern Idaho, though. I've lived in Coeur d'Alene, Post Falls, Rathdrum, Spirit Lake. Um, now I'm residing in Sandpoint. All of my family and friends are here. Well, most of my family and friends are here. Um, I don't really foresee myself living elsewhere, but that could also change. But I think overall, this place is always going to feel like home for me.